Oh, they were so quick. They were so quick. I made an error, guys. I'm sorry. Welcome back. Um, I did not think that uh, grade would be that quick. We are in it. We are it's like two interactions in. Ba barely missed anything. I'm sorry. All right. So grade going seemingly all wolf this tournament. Have not seen the Mario come out. Able to rack up already 90% on this first stock. Mostly from little, uh, like, stray hits. Uh, no big strings have come out, really. That back air, not quite taking the stock. That could have been Grade's chance to take a quick, quick lead and possibly the rest of the game. And now he has that chance again. That up smash, uh, we're going to see if he can ride this first stock. Starting it off, ooh, I love the custom combo coming out there from Grade. Knowing nothing else is gonna exactly work. Goes for a tricky, tricky um, string. Run up, pop. Run up, pop. That's how you play Space Animals. I'm, I'm a big fan of that style of gameplay. I gotta say, I love running at my opponent and using an aerial. Uh, but. Tickle gonna stay planted and get that F smash right into Grade's face. Tries to read him down with the F smash. It is not going to be exactly what we want. Is that a second back air that's gonna take the second stock? My goodness, it traded that time. But uh, either way, it does not matter. And we're kind of in... We're, we're in the same type of lead that Grade took uh, off that first F smash, and this is exactly what he wants to do. Keep this, keep this evenly paced. I mean, like, there's he's winning enough of the interactions uh, to keep himself ahead, but that back air is going to be the start of a very possibly big comeback. Just as I was talking about how well Grade was keeping everything tit for tat, uh, Tickle comes out with like a quick two hit burst option. But that, yeah, the Nair is going to hit Tickle out of his up B and he has no resources to get back. Nice little love tap coming out from Grade to take this first game. Right, nothing to change here, going back into it. Three, two, one, Second verse, go! same as the first. Aggressive uh, intro possibly coming in from Grade with that run up. It does get him a little bit off, but it's again right back into tit for tat. Whoever gets this first lead is going to uh, probably have a lot to say. Of course, we saw both players are, I'm sure, more than capable of uh, of resetting, uh, of getting their opponents uh, back, making a comeback, I suppose, is what I want to be saying. But again, it just becomes so much easier if you take this early lead. And now the early lead isn't necessarily the uh, the percent uh, in, a character, in, a, in a battle of uh, players of these caliber. It's the stock. And so now, I mean, you know, Tickle got it at about the best percent you could, you could possibly get it at. Oh, the last hit of the Nair just, just scooping... It, it kind of scoops you up and pushes you off. Great finding himself in a terrible position. Luckily getting back, but only to eat a bit more percent already. The down tilt. But Tickle doesn't run forward far enough to get the up air. That small blunder could cost him. Not quite. We find ourselves with Grade making an, a, a wrong read and back to neutral, which Tickle decided to take a little bit of control of, but he has not been able to convert these up airs against Grade. Uh, Grade's DI has been too much. Almost getting another thing off the falling uh, Nair, but not quite in great. Eventually finding, I believe that was a back air stock. Taking a lot of stocks with back air so far. Nothing wrong with that. It's a good, clean kill move, especially if you've been hit, get, hit, getting these uh, uh, stray hits the entire stock. Why not make it one more that'll kill? 
getup attack. First time of the set, I want to say, from grade. We'll see if it's the last. It does work out. Tickle not ready for it. And through all that, you know, got, got uh, Tickle to take some damage while on the platforms. And even now, Tickle has not been able to find his way back comfortably. Grade saying how we're going to control this game right now. Ooh, but that back arrow, I wasn't sure if it was going to kill even when we saw the sparks. Um, it just, I kind of thought Grade could DI it well enough. Yo, uh, Violet was really far into Wolf's hitbox there, but all jabs still hit. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good character right there. Able to follow up with the dash attack. Again, I've seen a lot of Violet tonight getting a lot off of, um, a lot off those dash attacks. Great goes for his up B in neutral, thinking he can get thinking he can get the stock, but is actually gonna get caught out of it. One more time, punished again by uh, Tickle. We're gonna have to see how many more times he is willing to do that. Oh, scooped up, I believe. I believe Tickle gave him a little bit extra of a hurt box after that when that down tilt was still um, like receding back into uh, the neutral animation. Idle animation, whatever you want to call it, you know. When the move was ending. You got scooped when the move was ending. Hmm, pierced by the forward air. Forward tilt again doing so much work for uh, for Violet in a lot of situations. Great defensive tool can be an, an offensive approaching tool. And a kill move eventually. One more time at, at ledge, that's gonna work. One dash attack, two dash attack. We're gonna see a third. Ooh, no, we are not. It does not matter what Grade was running at Tickle with because Tickle had a forward air for Grade's face. One, one, just like that. No change in stage. I I assume we're gonna see an all um, Pokemon Stadium set. Although I won't count anything out. Harry is the second to last hit of the Nair, but that pesky lower last, back lower last hit uh, is still the bane of a lot of people tonight. Hmm, Tickle dropping down after le uh, and losing ledge invincibility, but Grade unable to uh, punish with the down smash. I would have thought that would have hit below ledge for sure. Yeah, it has to back off because uh, Tickle has really good uh, DI on um, on that grab and, and on that that uh, other hit that um, Gray just put out. Gray just really unable to follow off of that. These missed techs being caught out by a dash attack are also not going to be doing Gray any favors. Mm, Gray tries to hold that same position for just a little too long, and it doesn't turn out to be, be the right position. Offstage with no uh, resources, he had no well, he had no double jump, and uh, so he kind of panics and recovers high, and Tickle kind of knows it and takes advantage of that by just waiting back with a uh, with an arrow. What does what does he care? If he misses, then you know you cancel out of it. Easy peasy. So many reverse hits from so many Bylists tonight. 
Oh, that was, at least to my eye, really close to uh, hitting. But the back air, I didn't quite see the exact percent uh, Violet that was at, but uh, I think it looked like a normal, fair, you're gonna die to back air percent. Ooh, is able to shield the down air on the return. We finally see a shine combo come out. Great, the second time Gray tried it, uh, second time is going to be the charm. When another miss tech on those nares uh, gets a dash attack to the face, Gray is going to have to start teching those if he wants to uh, change the pace of this. A neutral is not going to be the stock. I don't know if we've seen it once this game. Uh, certainly not this set. I don't remember if it worked out in his nerdy set or not. All right, Tickle can just really sit back and let like, Great approach him now and punish what he does. Does put on a little pressure, the jab combo. That's not something we've seen a lot coming up from Tickle, but goes for it a second time. I didn't even know, um, to, to be honest, I didn't know that Violet had a gentleman. Braid with the long read, tries really hard. If he had gone for up smash, he might've got it. Uh, bets on perhaps the safer option with the dash attack, but oh, it could have been his chance. And another miss tech on the jab means he has to recover. Still not taking the stock. Goes for a back air. We've had more luck with those, but that time is not going to be it. Oh, gets a really uh, kind of ugly looking soft hit with the, um, with the down tilt. I wonder if it kind of like soft hit him into the wall. Just like that, the up tilt is going to come out and take it for Tickle. Fighting hard and putting up 2 1 on the scoreboard. Nothing changing here. Wait, in fact, that absolutely nothing changing here. Oh, the drag down up air. I, I love drag down moves so much. It's the essence of what, like, cool combos have in them. Very often. Dash attack actually now doing a little work for grade, but perhaps not enough. Back throw not quite gonna be the stock, but the laser, the double laser means that oh I thought I am you know, there's not a whole lot of times you can feel sorry for a wolf, but uh, that is one of them. I, I do not think that uh, Violet uh, should have been able to get back, but hey, it does not matter what I think, it's what the game says. Great. Instead, finding a stop elsewhere. Little wave land. And tries to, uh, tries to stuff out a perhaps jump and a get up attack, or sorry, a get up with the jab. attack can he oh the drag down means he has to totally change his plan the great staying calm though and getting back to stage uh, of course Violet also being let back down a few a percent or two early for that killing very unfortunate for grade he's gonna have to he does sweet spot ledge but then uh, his get up uh, option is incorrect and Violet stuffs it out 
tickle evening this up stock wise we have a little work before we can call this even he gets out of the uh up b apart i guess because of the properties of his nair it was strange where he got hit by it he like popped out Being neutral. Ooh, ooh. Are you a footman? Put that in your face. I cannot believe that killed. Speaking of feet, we got the dash attack starting, and well, that could have been a nice little string, but uh, it's going to be broken up a little later on. But I'm still sitting pretty as grade right now. You know. Don't eh, as long as he doesn't lose it right here. I think we have. Oh, that was. That's essentially losing it exactly where I said. So you know, this is a really, really even game. Um, Tickle riding a little bit of um, a little bit of good vibes off a potential comeback. The up tilt, not quite getting him something fully started, but putting a little, a little bit of percent on grade. Drag down there. He doesn't have to tech this time, but it doesn't matter because he's uh, just in the perfect position anyway. Oh, the sliding F tilt. Uh, Tickle was not ready for that follow-up. Missing a tech of his own. Over tilt, put a little bit of distance. I think Tickle got a little bit scared about where that up was exactly going. Oh, that definitely was sticking below ledge. Tickle would have gotten the... Uh, like if it was timed properly, the up air not quite do, uh, killing Grade. Gonna find have a hard time coming down. Almost getting the dash attack for a kill. Both moves just barely missing. I cannot believe that after the uh, the up B missed that the forward tilt uh, didn't also hit. Inner part of the forward air means that he's not dead yet. Ooh, Grade risks so much going off for that, and unfortunately, that is going to be Tickle going up 3-1 off one of Grade's mistakes at the end there.